All right, class, uh, today we're going to look at functions and how to create a function. We're going to make a really simple function. We're basically going to take this part of our code and turn it into a function that we call. Um, usually functions are used for items or code that you're going to call repeated times. Um, we're just going to make this a function just to show you how it's done. So there are three parts to a function. I'm just going to write them down here for now. Um, there's what's called the function declaration. You have the function definition and you have the function call. Now, where do these three things exist? I'm just going to make these comments for now. The function declaration, we're going to declare that the function exists above task main. So this is going to be above task main. The definition is going to be below task main. And the function call is within task main. Or it can be within another function if you, you can have functions within functions. but. Uh, this is just generically, this is pretty much where they are. Um, sometimes you can actually have the definition above task main, and then you don't need the declaration, but we're going to do it in this, uh, this way uh, for now. So above task main, I'm going to add um, a line here. So I've got function declarations here. And then we'll do a line for task main. And then below task main, we're going to have our function definitions would be down here. So this is kind of how we're going to set it up. We're going to call our function. Um, now let's see, what are we going to call it? Uh, we'll call it motor control. And it is what's called a void function because it doesn't return a value. It's just going to do something. Uh, we can have functions that return an int, a float, a bool, any of the, uh, the variable types that we have, we can actually have it return a value. So um, some functions don't return any values. Like start motor just does something. It doesn't actually return a value. Um, it's a function that, that doesn't do anything. But then we have other functions that do return values. So we're just going to do a generic one, really simple, just so you can put a function in your, your basic program. And again, hopefully this will make sense. So I'm going to just cut and paste this code. So I'm going to control X to cut it, and I'm going to paste it right in here. I'm not going to modify the code at all. It's just going to be right here. This is the definition now of motor control. It basically is just an if else if statement um, that controls the motor based on if the limit switch is pressed, the bump switch is pressed. Uh, that's what it does. And now we need to do two things. We need to first declare it and then we're going to call it. So the declaration is simple. We just take the first line of this definition and we're going to copy it, control C, and I'm going to paste it up here and then put a semicolon. And what this does is it tells the program, hey program, you're going to see this thing called motor control. It's a function that returns void and you need to look down below task main to figure out what it means. So it basically gives it a heads up, just like when we declared our variables. Hey, we're giving you a heads up that this variable's coming. Um, this is the same thing. We're going to give the program a heads up that, hey, this function's coming. You need to look and find what its definition is down below. And then we're going to call that function right where we took it out of. And to call it, we just say motor control. And that's it. So just like we were calling another function that we have, this function doesn't have any arguments. So if you notice, there's nothing in the parentheses. 
And what it does is as soon as it gets to this line of code, it skips down here and then does this. And when it gets to the end of that function, it goes back into task main and it goes back into the while loop. So this should operate the exact same way as what it did before. Uh, there are other things that we can do that we can add in here and modify, but that's the basics of creating a function. So really all you need to do is have a function declaration, a function definition, and a function call. And again, those are the three things that you need to do. But you can copy and paste. It I, really doesn't matter to me how much code you copy and paste into your function. Just make a function um, and have it run in your program for right now. Now, this is the end of the video. If you want to stop and be done, that's great. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now on what else you can do with functions and with arguments. So, for example, let's say that we want to control our left motor. So we can actually put in here um, an argument that's going to take a motor control or a value for the left motor. And to do that, I'm going to right click and go to definition of this. So if you look at this start motor function, this is actually in the natural language cortex.c folder. This is a function that they've created. It's called start motor. It's a void function, so it doesn't return anything. And it gives you the two arguments. It's looking for a motor port, and it's looking for the speed that you want that motor to go. So I'm going to steal this line of code right here, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it right into here. And then if I look back here, when it says motor, and then it says right here motor port, that is what I'm going to also take. Instead of putting left motor, I'm going to put motor port. And I'm going to put motor port here. And I'm going to put motor port here. And this just assigns a motor port value um, into this position just in case nothing else gets there. So um, that's what this equals port 6. You could change this to whatever port you want, but this is just by default. If you don't give it an argument here, it's going to set it to port 6. Um, otherwise, it's going to set it to whatever is in this right here um, in the function call. So we changed this line of code. So we're going to have to copy and paste this again in our declaration. So I'm going to paste that. And now it's going to be looking for a motor port to be given to it on this motor controller. So now at this point, we can say left motor. And if I compile it, it should compile. Um, looking There we go. Okay, so you can define it right up here and it will set it to port 6 at the beginning. You shouldn't have that in your function definition right here. Now if this were up ahead of this, it would be just fine, but since it's after task main, it uh, doesn't like it. So this should work for us uh, right now. Sorry about that. Um, but that should do it. So we compiled just fine. If we started this up and ran it, it would then basically allow us to control our left motor. This kind of gives us uh, some options. If we didn't want to control the left motor and we want to control the right motor, I could just change that to right motor and now it will adjust which motor I am selecting. Instead of having to change all three of these, 
I now just have to change one argument. Another nice thing is, is we could even put in the speed here that we want. So I could then put a comma, int speed, and then instead of this, I could put a speed variable here and a speed variable here. And now what I could do, again, I'm going to go back up to here. Uh, arguments are separated by uh, commas. And I put a default argument for speed at 50, just like the default port was 6 into this line. And now I can say right motor, comma, and I could give it a speed. So I could give it a value of 100. And now what will happen is that it will control the right motor and its max speed now will be 100. So if you put in, if you push the limit switch, it'll be a negative 100. And if you push the bump switch, it'll be a positive 100. If you don't like those speeds, say they're too fast, you know, I could drop it down to 25 with just a simple change. So functions can be very useful, especially if you're calling uh, or trying to run the same type of things where you just need to change a couple of values or a couple of arguments. This comes in really handy um, in some of your larger programs to, to shrink them in terms of the space and the size that, um, that they need to be. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more in-depth uh, understanding of functions. Again, play around, do your best, and see what you can come up with. Have a good day.